What is up? What is up? What is up, FS Club? New mods in, guys. New mods. I know. I'm sorry, guys. I am sorry. I'm running a little bit late today, but it's been a very exciting day. If you guys haven't already done it, make sure you guys put in the comment section below hashtag FS Consoles. Okay, we got amazing mods today. We even had a map taken down. The Millennial Farmer map has been taken down. A lot of errors on it. Hopefully, Mappers Paradise can fix it and we can see it on consoles again very soon. But anyways, let's get to those mods. Okay, the first one is the big one, guys. The Huddock. The Huddock is finally here on consoles. Very, very exciting. Uh, let's see. The Huddock 1260E. 23 slots, so not bad in slot counts. Uh, ranges from 220000 all the way up to $250,000. And you guys can see there is definitely a lot of different options on this. Uh, there's those three right there. Okay, where you can find these, let's go over to... Uh, I believe it's under wheel loaders. There we are right there. It's got the cable and the city one. 157 horsepower. Uh, let's go over some of the options. The main colors, pretty much any color you can think of. Design, any color you can think of. Rim color, anything you could think of. Okay, this is the difference right here. Look at this. Okay, cable right there. So you guys see it regular. Then you also have rail. You can actually hook this thing up to, of course, you know, the train tracks and stuff, which I have not played with that at all. But it is an extra 20400 And then back to cable rail okay there's those okay there's those two and then you got floor mats configuration i don't know if it actually oh yeah it changes it you got standard or flo a floor mat textile and then light configuration you have standard or you have a uh, light configuration one i believe and then the beacon and then back to standard so that is for the cable one on the city one you have main colors the same thing design color the same thing rim color is exactly the same thing uh type you have city then you have the rail, which you guys can see the rail thing in the back. And then, I believe there was another one. I just don't know how to get to it. I guess you gotta keep playing with it. Sometimes it shows up. There we go, right there. Muddy Mary, there it is right there. So you, that looks amazing too. And then back to city. And then of course, the same thing with the floor mat configuration, standard or textile. And then light configuration, standard, uh, light configuration and beacon. So there is those right there. As you guys can see, these things are nice. Oh, hold on. I can't get up there. There we go. Yeah, look at this. Okay, this one has the beacon. Let's get into this one right here. Okay, as you guys can see, the door does open. Uh, I didn't see if there's any animation. Nope. Okay. So there's that right there. Let's go over to help window and let's turn this thing on. Nice engine sounds. Nice. Okay, got a camera right there. Two cameras, actually. So you have the third person, the front, and then another one. And then back to third person again. Why am I in this one? I thought I was in the blue one. Let's try and get in the blue one. Come on, let me get in. There we go. All right. So we got that one. And then you also got like the bucket right there. So that's pretty cool. Okay, let's drive forward real quick. Okay, not too bad. Uh, let's see. Unfold tractor. What does that do? Oh, okay. The camera even moves with it? No. Hey, look at that. Got a little guy in there. Okay, how do you move that thing up and down, though? Uh, let's go to maybe... Uh, is there any way I could change the... Okay. Is that it? That does not seem like that's it. Okay, let's try that again. Lift. Oh, there we go. Hey! Look at this. Not many times you can see someone like this and not fall out. <laughs> yeah, definitely not fall out. <laughs> That is cool though, I like that. How far can this thing go? Let's see. Um, is there any way to extend that? Yeah, there we go. Wow, look at that. That is how high he can go. So if we unfold tractor, he comes out of it and that gets put right back. Some of the stuff that these modders are making are crazy. Okay, uh, let's turn on the beacon real quick, see what happens. Ooh, that's a nice beacon. Okay, so there is the Huddock. I mean, there's a lot more stuff to go with it, guys. I'll be showing off some of it at the very end. Uh, let's see the lights. Ooh, definitely bright around of it. Okay, so that is the Huddock. Okay, the next mod to take a look at, guys, is the Fent Vario 900 Gen 6. Yes, this mod has been out, uh, but this is an update. Also remember, this is 57 slots, 282,000. $500. Uh, some of the new change log. Let's see. Completely revised model. New interior, 
new hood, new lights, new stern, uh, Vero grip was added, adjusted tire sizes and added new ones, uh, lowerable front axle, added uh, color configuration for the roof, added new configurations, price adjusted to the original, and added the power variant. So there is those, that's the change log on this. And this thing is nice, look at this. It's a nice little fent right here. Okay, let's go like that. Okay, what's fold? <laughs> what? Seriously? That is nice. I like that. I like it. Okay, the window opens. The door opens. Uh, anything else? What does that do? I don't know what that does. Is it lowering it or anything? I don't know. But still pretty nice. Let's see. 40 miles an hour is the top speed. Actually, that's pretty fast. Okay, turn signals in here. Yep. Okay, so there is the fence. Really nice. Where you guys can find this. Let's go over to tractors. Large tractors at the very, very end. And there it is right there. 296 horsepower is the base. Rim color, anything. Uh, let's see. Design color, pretty much anything. Got a whole bunch of fence, hardies. And then, of course, the main color, anything. Real brand. Brand. Sorry, brand. Trailborg, Michelin, Trailborg, you have standard, default with warning signs, uh, Vario Grip, Vario Grip plus warning signs, wheel weights, wheel weights plus warning signs, wide tires, wheel broad, Vario Grip, wide tires plus weights, and then back to standard. Uh, design, you have standard or design line, which that's pretty cool right there. You have without beacon lights, with a left beacon light, left LED beacon light. Uh, let's see, right beacon lights, right LED beacon light, or left right beacon lights, or left right LED beacon lights. And then you have engine power, 930 power, which is 296. Uh, 930 profile, which is still 296. Uh, profile plus is still the same. So it looks, and then 933 is 326. And you got the profile and the profile plus, which it changes, looks like the monitor in there. And then 936, which is 355. And then 939, which is 385. 942, which is 415. And then that's it right there. Of course, you have the front fenders on or off. And then that is it on the fence. Really, really nice tractor right there. Okay, let's get to the next mod. And the next mod is right here. Another thing from NMC. This is the NMC Gooseneck M20. Two slots, $9,000. Uh, pretty nice. Pretty nice right here. I don't really use much forestry stuff and all that, uh, but this looks pretty cool. I got I got to try it out a little bit more. Okay, where you can find this one? Let's go over to miscellaneous over here. A lot of the stuff is in the miscellaneous today. Uh, there it is right there, nine thousand dollars. Of course, this can also be hooked up to the Scarec too. So, I got design color, anything you want. Main color, anything. You have Will Brands, Lizard, Nokian, and that is it on that. Okay, so there is that one. And also another surprise forestry. This is from Black Sheep Modding. This is the Lizard Trex 80006. Five slots, $25,000. As you guys can see, uh, I can hold really big logs right here. Okay, is there, yes, there is straps on it. So that is a plus. Yep, lots of straps on it. Pretty nice. Where you can find this thing right here. Let's go under forestry equipment. All the way at the very end, there it is right there, $25,000. You have rim color, anything you want. Main color, anything you want. Will brand, Lizards, Trailborg, Michelin. Those Trailborg standard looks really good. Then we have wide tires. Uh, let's see, Michelin, you have standard or wide tires. Uh, design, you have 3.4M, uh, 3.5M, uh, 2.8M, 16M. So that's cool, you can actually do different, that's awesome. You have front protection, yes or no. And that is it on the Trex. Really, really nice. Nice mods today. Wow, really good drop. Okay, the next one we got is the water trailer. Two slots, 5,500. As you guys can tell, it's pretty much what it says it is. It is a water trailer. Where you can find this one, let's go under animals. The very end, and there it is right there. 5,500, holds up to 10,000 liters. And you can change the rim color to anything you can think of and main color to anything you can think of. So really, really cool. 
Okay, the last regular mod for today, guys, is the Alo Multi Grab 160 HD. Four slots, 2000. As you guys can see, it is a grabber right there. I like the little hoses in the back right there. Okay, where you can find this one, I believe it's under wheel loaders, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, I am wrong. Telehandlers, maybe? Nope. Front loaders? Is that under front loaders? Yes, there it is. There it is. It uh, holds up to 800. Can pretty much pick up anything. Uh, yeah, pretty much anything. Uh, the options on that, you got hoses yes or hoses no. As you guys can see right there, disappearing off and on. No price for that. Okay, so that is it of the regular mods. The next mods we got is placeables, and there they all are. These are right over here. This one is the placeable silos. Four slots, $10,000, so that's that one. And if you go all the way down over to here, we have the placeable... This one right here. This is the placeable salt. Uh, this is four slots and ten ten thousand uh, dot dollars too. Sorry, can't think. But as you guys can see, we have a lot of different silos. We have salt. We have lime. We have uh, looks like fertilizer, seed, chicken food, horse food, pig food, and then a regular silo right there. So really nice. Where you can find these? Let's go under silos. And at the very end, there they all are right there. They all hold 35,000 liters. So silos are used to store crops, are used to refill your uh, lime spreaders and stuff like that. I don't know what happens. You probably have to sell these when you get done with them. At least that's what I am thinking. Okay, so there is those mods right there. Okay, let's actually go to the shop real quick. Also, with the Huddock pack, guys, came with all of these attachments right here. All these attachments are part of it. There is tons and tons with this Huddock pack. Even it comes with, right there, little plant stuff. So you put this in and you can plant some trees. I believe you put it into that one, I believe. Even come with a little NMC trailer. Really nice. I haven't really played with this that much because of course it just came out today, but nice nonetheless. Okay, uh, how do you hook up some of this stuff? Some of this stuff I might have to play around with and all that, so. Okay, how do you? hook up this probably like oh there we go okay then how do you fill that up do you just go like right here let me actually put this thing on real quick oh look at that just goes right on in there and then what you probably just have to put it into the ground and it plants it is, is that really what you have to do that's it front loader oh that's a front backhoe okay so you just do like maybe like this I don't know how this thing actually works Turn on wheel loader tool. Oh, look at that, that thing spins. Okay, so I'm going to play around with a lot of this stuff. But that is the mods for today, guys. Uh, hopefully I'll be showing off this Huddock a lot more because it's very, very interesting. But anyways, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you haven't said, make sure you guys do. Like always, have an all-day farmers. Peace.